So if you're at that stage where you're feeling fairly comfortable flying your DJ Avata 2 drone in manual mode, you will probably be wanting to start attempting to hit some gaps. The feeling of hitting tiny gaps, especially a few in a row, is like no other. And the visuals produced from mastering this skill are what could potentially take your videos from a few views from your grandparents and your neighbor to going viral on social media. The issue is with hitting small gaps with your Avata 2 is that it can be quite daunting, especially if you crash initially doing it and potentially have Take your drone to get fixed or we'll use your dji care refresh but fear not i've been in this position of regularly failing to hit small gaps with my fpv drones in the past and have some game changing tips that will take you from a tiny gap hesitation to relishing any opportunity you can to hit one in the beginning when trying to hit small gaps i would very often either get close and back out of it at the last second as i felt like i wasn't aligning properly or about to hit some part around the gap and crash i did this for a while with not that much improvement until one day i got some incredible advice that changed my whole mentality and approach to handling those small gaps and this is the first tip which is to look through the gap that you want to go through Essentially what this means is making sure you're focusing on the bit after the gap rather than the actual gap itself. It's a small mindset shift, but that was all it took for me to really start feeling comfortable going through gaps. It's difficult to explain, but essentially I felt like it was creating a synergy between my eyes and my fingers on the sticks. And if I focused on the area part through the gap with my eyes, then the fingers adjusted naturally to take me through. If you are focusing on the actual gaps itself, there's more chance your fingers will follow your eyes and you'll struggle to go through and it eventually hit the bit around the gap or click it on the way through. Like I said, it's a tough one to explain, but try it out. I'm sure you will see an improvement. Number two is to get your expo right. Expo is important and is quite often overlooked by new Avata pilots. If you increase this, then you will be able to fly smoother through gaps as tiny movements around the middle of the sticks won't influence the direction of the drone too much and you'll be able to negate the up and down bobble that you can quite often get, especially when you're flying slower. If you're feeling like you're too twitchy, you'll overcorrect and be more likely to crash into the area around the gap. Number three, as I mentioned in the intro, some of the best videos you will see online are ones where the pilot finds a line with many gaps in a row. So tip number three is to always be prepared for the next gap. This means once you're through, don't celebrate and don't think about how cool that was. Quickly adjust for the next one and the next one after that. And then after you fly it, sit back, take a look and enjoy the amazing gaps that you just hit in a row. The simulator can be great for practicing gaps in the beginning and I definitely recommend it. But the problem with the simulator as far as I'm aware is you only have ideal conditions, meaning no wind. And in reality, there will always be a bit of wind that can affect the direction, especially if you're going from outdoors to indoors. So my advice here is to not approach gaps too slowly. It was definitely a mistake that I made in the beginning which is to think that if I approach the gap slowly and try and go through slower, then if I do crash, the crash won't be too bad and maybe my drone actually will survive. However, this always caused me to get blown around as I was approaching the gap due to having less authority in the air. And when you are trying to hit a precise gap, this is not what you want. Plus it never actually looks as good if you go through a gap slower with an FPV drone. So fly a little faster than you feel comfortable so that you're able to have authority in the air and not have to battle the breeze and more often than not, you'll fly through smoother and more impressively. A practical tip for this is to make sure you have a camera angle of at least five degrees if you're flying indoors to have that forward momentum and possibly 10 to 25 degrees if you're flying outside, depending on how fast you want to go and how much wind you are trying to battle against. Next, if you do have the Avata 2, then of course you do have the luxury of having normal and sport modes, which is not full manual mode. Therefore, the temptation is there to go through these gaps in those beginner modes before you try full manual mode. However, my advice would be to go straight into flying through gaps in full manual mode once, you know, once you're comfortable flying in full manual mode, rather than going back a step and trying out the other modes to go through gaps such as normal and sport mode. Those modes, they hover your drone for you, so your throttle control doesn't need to be that precise. However, when you're in manual mode, which is a mode you wanna be flying most of the time with an FPV drone, most of the art of hitting a gap is through having your throttle control dialed in. So it will feel completely different from going from normal or sport mode to manual mode when you do eventually switch next tip so sometimes you go out and you want to just get flying you've been sitting indoors all day stuck at the office front of the computer whatever and you just want to get out there asap get your drone up in the air and start hitting some gaps 
I get you on that one, trust me. However, my next tip for you is to hold your horses, take a little bit of time, plan ahead, and go for a little recce of the area first, especially if it's a newer area that you've not flown in before. Firstly, to make sure it's safe with no people hiding on the other side of potential gaps that you want to go through. And secondly, so that you can have more of an idea of the line you want to try and create, making a really cool flight video where you're hitting some gaps in a row that makes a pleasant cinematic flight rather than a jerky, I'm not sure where I'm going type of flight because you're trying to come up with a line whilst you're in the air. This will have the advantage of actually making you more focused as well when you're flying as you have a clear beginning and end point and you're short of the gaps you want to hit in between. I spend a lot of time watching videos on socials of pilots hitting tiny gaps and they make it look easy. So my first instinct when I go out is to look for those same sort of small gaps straight away. And a lot of the time, especially when I first started out, I struggle and crash pretty early on. So my next tip is to build up to those smaller gaps. Maybe use a few minutes of your battery or even a whole battery to feel comfortable going through some larger gaps or just generally flying in the area. Calm your adrenaline down and get used to the flight conditions and start to attempt the smaller gaps when you're confidently hitting the larger ones. Next tip, take a deep breath before you start flying to let oxygen into your brain and to also keep breathing as you're flying. I know that sounds really obvious because without it, you, you know, you can end up in hospital but what I mean is you can be so focused sometimes on the flight and the gaps that you actually do forget to breathe and take air in to get air into your, into your brain and this can actually mess up your flight as breathing means your body is more calm and relaxed and that will translate over to your flying and into your fingers on the sticks next when you're flying for a gap line yourself up stay steady and commit Hesitation for me always equals collision. If you're second guessing, you'll clip something or hit something. Trust your setup, trust your instincts, no hesitation and just go through the gaps. I really appreciate you watching guys. Thank you so much for your time. If you do want to have some more advice on flying a DJI Vata 2, then do check out this video here on more tips about cinematic footage. And I really do hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.